and here we go. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders. It's great to be here and like to uh, welcome you here to my masterclass. So we've got uh, traders from all around the world and I know it's getting very late for you in the UK and in Europe, but I'd like to uh, welcome you. So uh, just uh, one quick thing, I'll just start uh, quickly uh, turn on the camera to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm am a real person and this ain't a recording. So I'd like to welcome you here. So we'll be covering a lot of information. I'll turn the camera off in a moment because um, otherwise it takes up too much of a screen with uh, go to webinar. So I will turn it off. You can see I am real. So uh, I've since uh, grown a beard since then. So once again, traders, simplicity and consistency is really the key to succeeding as a day trader. So today's webinar is really about how, how I day trade, how I scalp and day trade. And so you'll see there is a difference. And we're going to be taking some live trades, hopefully as long as there's some setups, there usually is. Uh, but I'm also gonna lay out the foundation which is very, very important. Now I do need to bring up the disclaimer. There is a risk in trading. In other words, traders don't trade with the rent money. Uh, and actually I had one of my members once pull me up on that. He said, well, look, I use the rent money, but he was consistently profitable. Okay, well, let me say, don't trade with the rent money unless you're consistently profitable. Now, if you, you are watching the recording, uh, the recording will be made available. And with that also, if you could hold any questions to the end, I'll cover them. Uh, by all means, type them in, but I'll answer them. I'll scroll, scroll through them and answer them, them at the end. Uh, you're always welcome to pause the recording to read the disclaimer. Now, uh, in today's masterclass, I'll pull no punches. I'll tell you how it really is. See, ultimately, I'd love you to join my live trading room. I'd love you to join and, and attend my live coaching sessions. Uh, but what I don't want you to do is to attend with what I call false expectations on what you can achieve or can't achieve as a day trader. So I'm going to tell you how it really is, but I'm also gonna show you what it really takes and the fastest way to get there. Now, you may have heard the quote, you know, what you don't know can't hurt you, but that's just not true when it comes to day trading. You know, if you don't know things, it's gonna drain your bank account. Now, with day trading, there's a lot of what I call moving parts to it, meaning that success is never due to one thing, but when it comes to day trading, failure can be that one thing can pull you back and stop you succeeding. So I'm gonna be talking to you about that. And for some reason, I'm just gonna quickly check this. My chart's having trouble to, I just re removed an indicator, went to put another one on, and it's having a little hissy fit there. So what I might even do, if we don't mind, I'm gonna pause the recording one moment and uh, recording again. Okay, so we've started again. So hopefully the charts will, um, oops, no, come on, will uh, reload here. So it's very important traders, you know, all aspects. So who is this masterclass for? Um, if you're seeking a part-time or full-time income, if you're new to trading or a struggling trader or an experienced trader seeking to increase your bottom line, then this class is for you. However, it's not for everyone, as I mentioned. And look, it's not for dabblers. And what I mean by that, and I say that respectfully, is that to master the art of day trading, you have to be committed. You can't be half pregnant. Fortunately, it's not rocket science, but you've got to put the screen time in. You've got to become what I call a student of the markets. And unfortunately, when it comes to day trading, there's so many YouTube videos out there or books that make it look so easy. And I often smile to myself because, you know, I'll have traders that'll blow five or $6,000 in a couple of days day trading, yet they'll buck at spending a couple of hundred dollars to get the right education. I just find it really interesting. It's really because of a false information that traders are actually given. But once again, I'm gonna to go to the live charts and show you. And you know, when it comes to indicators to traders, we'll talk more about that as we get closer. But when it comes to indicators, you'll see that virtually every indicator I use, I've coded a couple and make them available for members. But you know, 
yeah, I've been doing this for so long now. And I think uh, it was Gan that famously said, there's nothing new under the sun. And when it comes to trading, it's really true. So we're gonna cover a lot of things in this webinar. And it's all very deliberate because I need to lay the foundation. So in your uh, email, when you registered, you would have received a uh, little document which covered what we're going to cover. So I'll save time and won't go through each of those. Now, why should you listen to me? Well, as you probably just saw, I don't know if you saw part of my library in the background there, I've been doing this for over 27 years now. Uh, fortunately, I've been uh, in a financial position where I've been able to have funds managers work for me, uh, employed by me to manage my account, tra uh, traders, consultants, uh, programmers. And so really I've been on the, can I say the journey of, can I say the Holy Grail, really seeking what is the Holy Grail of trading now for over 27 years. And I'm gonna be showing you what that edge is. And really to succeed as a day trader, you've got to have that edge. And traders, what I've actually discovered is some of the, once again, some of the most common setups that have been around for years work and make big money. But the challenge is most traders won't follow the rules. So this is the uh, journey that most traders take. Uh, I've been there, but I sort of did, did it deliberately and I had the money to do it, to go out and basically travel the world, buy everything, um, uh, have the right staff. This has been my boardroom. And so I've been in that, that position. But what that means to you is I can deliver and give you what the best of the best is. Is there, if there's something better traders, I'll tell you about it, all right? Because I don't sell indicators, I give them away. So if there is a great indicator, look, and there's a couple of third party ind indicators that are fantastic that I'll say to clients, look, if you've got the spare cash, these might help your trading, they're, they're great. But, but other than that, most common indicators is all you really need. Now I also mentioned about, the research side of things, and that is I'm a researcher. And so with that being said, what that actually means is I have my staff fill out and create research reports, which I can then go through. So uh, you probably can't see that, but trading strategies four or four, three or four, two or four, one or four, you know, we've gone through hundreds of them, okay? And once again, I've come full circle on that as you're about to see. Now, as a researcher also, I take copious notes. Once again, you may be thinking, well, how does that help me? It's because I've got over 60 of these volumes of notebooks of information on trading system strategies, experiences from live trading, etc. And I'm able to share that with my members. Once again, you know, Look, I can give you everything you need to succeed as a day trader, except one thing. Well, actually it's a couple of things, patience, discipline, and screen time. You've got to get the screen time. And I do one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. And with my one-on-one -on -one clients, the first thing I really drill down on, and, and I tend to get a lot of clients that perhaps have really struggled with their trading, how much time in front of the screens have you had? And what I discover is you're only trying to day trade three or four hours a week over a broken period. That is, I might do 30 minutes, then an hour. That doesn't work. If you're going to day trade, you've got to really, you know, 99% of the time, look at that good 90 minutes to two hours as a minimum. So when it comes to folders on my PC, I've got hundreds of them different topics and this is all to do with day trading and systems. I've coded, this is my uh, trade station indicators. I've coded or purchased hundreds and spent hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years. We've coded um, uh, robots for Forex, you name it, we've been there and done that. So here's what I've discovered and this is my holy grail. And what it is, traders, is very simply, it's simplicity. The combination of consistency, discipline, and patience, that is what equals the holy grail. And I know for some of you, that's not what you wanna hear. But you know, all the time traders said, well, look, why don't you code? We've got a setup called the 2B. Now the 2B, traded correctly, is an 80 to 90% win-loss ratio, day in, day out. 
well, why not code it and just um, put it into a bot? Uh, and so it just fires off automatically. Well, in theory, that's great. But the problem is the market doesn't trend all the time. And so, yes, you can have scalping strategies for range bound markets, but it's having a strategy that will go from one type of market to another. And in theory, it sounds great, but the markets are only trending probably, look, some say 15% of the time, I'd say it's probably the markets we trade 25 to 30% of the time. But the bottom line is you can't beat the human computer, which is us, our pattern recognition skills. Now, what I cover today, if you're a new trader, may really appear overwhelmed as far as the information I'm going to go through. However, when I coach my members in the group coaching sessions, and I run a lot of sessions each week, two hour, actually they're between 90 minute and two hour live sessions for my members. I break it down as simple as possible. And what is important traders is that when you start to trade, you start with one setup and you build from there. So the question will be when I get to the charts, can you really do this? Well, what you'll hear me talk about is regularly, is what we call, it's called the Goldilocks rule. Now, as I'm right into science, I'm into the science of learning as well. So what is important and what's been proven in science now is that to teach somebody, we've got to follow the Goldilocks rule, not too hard, not too easy, just right. And so in my classes and with my members and in I've got two different types of live trading rooms, I've got from uh, a couple of uh, guys that trade full time in Chicago through to brand new traders. And as I say to everyone, start off with one strategy find out what's just right. If it's too easy for the experienced guys, they give up uh, and you don't want to make it too hard. So in other words, you'll find I may cover a lot in the sessions, but focus on, remember what it is, it's called the 2B and the 34B. I want you to write that down if you've got a pen handy, the 2B and 34B. They're two brilliant trend following strategies. So as we've only got an hour and a half to two hours together, like the iceberg, I can only give you a tip of the iceberg here today, but once again, it's not rocket science. Now, what I'm about to cover is absolutely critical to you learning and mastering the art of day trading. What's been proven, and Dr. Andrew Huberman covers this beautifully. Um, he's a scientist, actually a neuroscientist at uh, Stanford University, and he actually works with Carol Dweck, who wrote the excellent book on mindset. And what's been proven now is to really accelerate your learning and mastering the art of day trading or any subject, in fact, you've got to set goals. If you don't have goals, you're like a ship without a rudder. And this is where people say to you, just get to the trading, get to the trading, but you've got to lay the foundation by having a target somewhere to start with, it will help you. And this is also very important because trading is a business. So unfortunately, so many traders are given this false expectation on how much they can earn. What I'm about to show you is huge, outstanding in a moment. However, You've got to be realistic when it comes to money management and how quickly you can learn the setups. Now, I say get rich slowly. That is, take a year or take it two years to really get wealthy trading. You can do it, but you've got to be realistic. So let's have a look at how do we actually, how much capital do we need and how quickly can we get to say, 10,000 a week. Now, when I go through these income levels, and I'm going to show you on the live screens how we do it, um, what you've got to do is work out a target that suits you. If I talk 10,000 a week, you may be happy with 500 a week. You might be a young gun, a young gun here that wants to earn his uh, um, uh, basically 40 to 50,000 a week. Okay, but you've got to start somewhere. So. Let's talk about, before we get to this chart I want to show you, let's talk about what is realistic. 
okay? No BS, what's realistic? Now, financially day trading can be challenging or life changing, sorry, I was about to say. However, for so many, greed and unrealistic towards, uh, targets are sought out. So what's realistic? If you'll say trading, and today we'll look at, I was gonna look at the, um, the Aussie futures, uh, but I see we've got a, a red flag coming out uh, in an hour or so. So we'll have to stay away from that. So we'll go to the Euro dollar, but whether it be the ES, whatever the market, on the low end, $100. And it depends on your capital, which I'll show you a great little spreadsheet that I give to my members, okay? But realistically, 100 to 300 per car, and that means per contract, depending on the market you're trading. But this is where, Traders, they, they say, look, I want to be earning the 500 to 1,000. Uh, yes, you can actually do that regularly. Uh, however, what you've got to do is build two things. It's called confidence and competence. And so by starting out at 100 a day, if you want to make it really easy, you build your account. You know, that's five grand a week on only 100 a day. And I'm going to show you that. We'll probably do that well, hopefully in the time together. Make no promises, but let's just see how we go when we get to the charts. Now, here's what we need to consider. And this is where most traders can't handle the truth or they don't want to know the truth. Um, we never ever risk more than 2%. As you build your account, you want to drop that down, okay? So say if you're trading 50 to $100,000, you want to have a 1% rule. You know, and I won't go through all the reasoning here, but bottom line is you can trade using, with NinjaTrader at least, and I'm not making any broker recommendations here at all, by the way, but with uh, NinjaTrader, you can do it also at TradeStation. If you close out any trades during the day by 3.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and open a trade after 5 p.m. when the market reopens, so basically have no open positions, you can day trade using the uh, day trading margins, even like right now. So you don't have to have like 12,000 in your account. You can get away with the day trading margins. But what does matter traders is the 2% rule. And what that means is uh, we're gonna look at the 6E today, which is the Euro dollar, okay? Now we're gonna look at the one tick. So let's just round that off it instead of having and what, what I mean by one, uh, one tick, my risk is $6, sorry, is six ticks, which is $37.50 per trade. Now, that is tradable 90% of the time. So 2% of $18.75 comes to $37.50. So what it really means is I need to have around $2,000 in my account uh, to st and stay within um, the 2% rule. Now, what if we're trading the ES? And if we get a chance, we'll have a quick look at the ES. Now, typically, we're gonna trade after hours between the six, uh, between the one and the two tick, which means my risk is gonna be between 75 and $100. So that means I need to have between, say, four and five and a half thousand. I always recommend clients have a buffer. Now, of course, the beautiful part is now, you can start out by trading the micros. So let's just say here you've only got $1,000 or 800. Great, you can start by trading the micro ES. Uh, another great market's the NQ. Uh, another great market is the Dow. Gets a bit thin after hours, but say right now, fantastic volume on the micro ES, the NQ. And if you've got around $2,000, uh, the 60 and the Aussie, are both fantastic markets right now, as you're about to see. Now, when I say fantastic, they're not flying, but you, there's tons of trading opportunities. Now, one of the things we look at with all the different market opportunities, and just to show you this spreadsheet here, this is all the different types of futures contracts. Now, I should have mentioned here, traders, that it doesn't matter whether you trade futures, Forex or stocks. The setups that I'm gonna be teaching you today and showing you today will work on any market and any type of chart, okay? Um, and I remember, um, I think it was uh, Larry Williams many years ago, turned around and said, look, if a strategy won't say work on wheat, 
but it'll work on the hogs, or it won't work on Forex, but it'll work on the ES, I won't trade it. A trading strategy should be generic and universal, okay? So what I teach you will work on any market and time frame. okay? So when it comes to a lot of brokers, I'll tell you about their intraday margin, like here to trade, uh, where's the, um, Where's the ES? Let's just go up here to the ES for a moment. To trade the ES, you only need $500. However, if you've got a risk of $100, a couple of trades and you're wiped out, okay? So even though they say they've got very low margins, you still got to allow that 2% risk rule, which is very, very important. Now, uh, another thing is, is that do we have volatility and do we have volume? So these are the markets that I either trade or I'm interested in. So as long as I've got above 50,000 contracts on a day, it's usually gonna be sufficient trading for around 10 lots, okay? Once you start to drop below that, quite often volatility, you know, a few things can happen. But uh, as I said, we're gonna look at the 6E, 128,000 contracts today. I love the 6A as well. Uh, and um, likewise, you go and look at the ES, 1.6 million contracts on the micro ES, ES nearly 1.4 million. So the micros is fantastic volume. Okay, let me just show you this spreadsheet here. Now, first of all, the spreadsheets that you get if you end up joining me, and I'll show you how for a dollar ten an hour, you that's right, a dollar ten an hour, actually it's a bit less than that, you can join my coaching classes. And you get all of the goodies here that I'm going to show you. So I've already shown you this one, the margin requirements. But then we've got this one here, which is also very important. What this will allow you to do is to, let's just say here that you've got a thousand dollars, okay? And you're going to start trading, say the micro ES, and your target is $30 a day. Now, on the big contract traders, that would be the equivalent of $300 a day. So the micros are 10% of the value. So that is a very, very realistic here. What it would mean is if you started with a thousand, each time you double your $1,000, you go to 2,000, you can start trading two contracts. Once you get another 1,000, you can go to three. So yes, I know some people will show you these spreadsheets that will show you, you can get rich literally overnight, okay? But we've got to be realistic, okay? You're going to have up weeks, you're going to have down weeks. And so the way my spreadsheets work is that if you're consistently earning $30 a day, once you double your money, you go to another contract. Now, what it, the bottom line is, in th only 33 weeks, in 33 weeks, on $30 a day, okay, you're at your 10 grand a week income, and your account has grown from a thousand to seventy-five thousand dollars. Now, before you look, say, oh, trading 73 micros because the commissions are a lot higher on the micros. Well, no, once you get your capital up to $10,000, which would be the equivalent of what that is, then you can switch over and start trading the big contract, okay? So, but this is the foundation of your, uh, of putting together your own plan. And I'm gonna show you how you do this in a moment. Now, what the bottom line is this, if we started off, say with the ES, or even the black gold, the Texas T oil, with a $4,000 account, we can trade where we've got a maximum of an $80 stop, okay? Now, here it says that um, within 34, uh, within 30 weeks, on $100 a day, 4,000, we can be earning our 10 grand a week, potentially. We get out to 150 a day, we're there in our 18 weeks, we get up uh, to 200 a day, we're there in only 12 weeks. Now, what if, uh, and actually before we do get there, one thing that, uh, oh sorry, and 300, because that's what we're looking at with the micro there, you're there in only eight weeks. So if you start off with 4,000, but let me say this, 
if, um, and that's trading a standard lot, not the micros, I recommend that every new trader, or unless you're already profitable, you start off with the micros and you build from there. You start on the simulator, you master it there, and you take it from there, okay? Greed um, uh, and lack of competence is what kills so many traders. And likewise, if you're under huge financial stress right now, and you've got to start making money because you're a desperate trader, you bring your personal challenges to your trading. It's going to be very difficult traders, okay? You, trading is, it, it's, it's not about intellect, but it's about following the rules. Okay, moving on. This is where, this is very, very important. How many trades a day do you realistically need to undertake to hit your target? So on my calculator here, we can see that if you're trading the ES, uh, which is $12.50 and you've got a $4,000 account, means my six tick stop and I'm on a 70% win loss ratio and I'm after 200 a day, I need eight trades a day. If I improve my win loss ratio, say if you're trading two Bs only, okay, 80%, it's only five a day. If we keep it at, um, go to 300 and 70, 30, and that's what I'd say to all new traders be targeting, you've got to target uh, 12 trades a day. Now that is easy. That is the amount of trades that you get realistically on the markets we trade. That's very, very realistic. Now, very quickly, what if you start with your micros? Okay, if you start from a, a micro point of view, because if you only had, so if you had um, 20, 30, 50, 100,000 dollars, I would be saying to you, start on the micro either way. Cut your teeth, make all the mistakes you want to make there. Okay, then you can go live on the big one. So if you started with $700, okay, so that basically means you can have a $14 stop loss, $20 a day. Just on that alone, you're up to 10,000 potential in only 34 weeks on $700 and never trading any more. Uh, or increasing the number of contracts until you double your money each time. Let's take it down even more. What if it's $10 a day? I just wanna show you how realistic this can be. Time's gonna pass anyway, traders. It'll go anyway, but this is what you can do. But everybody in today's world, they want everything now. Give it to me now. So if you go for only $10 a day, if you're nervous, Nelly, or suffering from what I call the psychological damage of blowing your account a few times. If you start from there, okay, um, uh, sorry, go back to that one there. It's gonna take us 32 weeks to build our $700 account to 4,000. Why is that important? Because once I hit 4,000, I can go to trading the big contract. From there, it'll take me another 30 weeks if I had only $100 a day. Here's the bottom line traders. If you average with a, that's with a $700 account, okay, uh, from there to 10,000 a week, it's gonna take you 66 weeks. That's 16 months. It's only one year in four months, starting off with a $700 account and 100, sorry, and $10 a day. That is so darn conservative, the shame of it is, so many people, they want everything now. All right, let's move on. I just wanna show you one more thing. So we'll be at the chart shortly, but if what if you're a Forex trader? Or what if you're after a great trending market? Okay, so um, you can also trade here the um, uh, Forex currency futures, which I mentioned we'll be looking at the 6E, uh, which is the Euro dollar very soon. Now, realistically though, you need $2,000 to trade that account. Now, if you're a Forex trader, you can start off trading the minis with as little as $500 and following a 2% rule, never risking more than 2%. So if you've got less than that, you can always start on the Forex minis and build from there. So very quickly, if you uh, trade either the 6E 
which is the euro dollar or the 6A with a $2,000 account and you target $100 a day, okay, you've got the potential there, 10 grand a week in 15 weeks. Now, what that really comes down to is you've got to execute at least four net six stick trades a day, okay? Uh, and of course, you can do it a lot easier trading the wide swings, which I will show you and I'll explain how to do that. Now, we go here and go for our 150 a day, right? We're there, 10 grand a week in 10 weeks. That is six net trades a day. Uh, by six ticks or because, and I should just mention my apologies, on the Aussie dollar, it's $5 a tick. So each movement is $5 a tick, basically half a pip. The, the currency futures markets is a contract that's put out by the CME and it mirrors the, um, the, the currency markets. Now with the 6E, with the yen, with the British pound, that's $6.25 a tick. So therefore, you only need six five tick trades a day to hit your 150. And the last one here is 200 a day. If you're day trading four to five hours a day, in my opinion, you should be achieving that. If you're a serious trader on trading, your two Bs and your pivot bounces, I'll show you what they are, you should be there if you're a dedicated trader, but look at that there. You're there in seven weeks. This is the potential. So how do we do it? First of all, let's also forget about me for a moment and look at what some of the other masters are doing, such as Mark Douglas, a disciplined trader, what he talks about in his book. How do I teach you how to succeed as a trader? Well, on page 100, uh, 209, if you don't have a disciplined trader, it should be in your library. Every day trader should have that book. And what it points out there is, to become an expert, choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern, preferably one that is mechanical instead of mathematical. So it'd be working with a visual representation of market behavior. Traders, we trade patterns that appear in the market each and every day. But we trade what we call rules-based trading. That is virtually every pattern that sets up, you can attach a rule to it and make it rules-based. It just makes it so much easier. Now, remember the movie Karate Kid, let me get that out right. I don't know if you remember that, was, gee, was that early 80s? I can't remember, many, many, many moons ago. And I don't fear, and so many people had seen that movie, of course, where the young guy here wants to go into this tournament, wants to master the art. And I don't remember his coach's, what his um, sensei's name is, but he said, wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. And even um, Bruce Lee said, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. And what I mean by that is mastering just one or two setups, become a specialist. The specialist traders are the ones that makes the big bucks. And even Linda Rashke, wonderful trader and, and um, funds manager, a wonderful, wonderful lady. As she says here, let me tell you, the majority of professional S&P traders I know tend to specialize in one pattern or trade just one style. Success is not a function of how smart you are or how much you've applied yourself academically. Um, it's, this is hard, this is as a trader, it's hard to accept in a society that puts a premium on intellect. But what's, what does make the difference is patience, waiting for the setup. So how are we gonna do it? Trend following. Yes, I will show you some great counter trend trades, however, that's okay when you've got the experience. And many of my traders that have uh, gone full time won't even trade counter trends because it, the challenge with CT trading, it, it distracts you, okay? Why take risk trades? And uh, actually in this great book, um, oh, these first of all, these two, all about trend trading, trading with the trend. And Dick Diamond in this great book called Trading as a Business, what he talks about is identifying the 80-20 trades. The trades that will produce profits at least four out of five times. 
Yes, if you trade the best of the best two Ds or triple Ds where you've got two or three divergences, and I'll show you what I mean by that soon. Um, yes, you can dramatically improve your bottom line, but that takes a lot more work for a newer trader. So here we've got Dick Diamond. I'm telling you 80% to 90% trades. Dick's saying the same thing. And then we've got Marty Swartz. Now, Marty Swartz, uh, he's still trading. He's 78 worth a couple of hundred million dollars. I know you can't really live on that, but you can pay a few bills, okay? Uh, and um, an incredible trader. And he was actually one of the first traders, or one of the traders that was written up in Market Wizards, the very first Market Wizards book, books out in the uh, 80s. And here's what he says. He's, I'm a scalper. By that, I mean I'm in and out quickly, always, always, always. And he mainly, by the way, he mainly trades options now, which are longer term. He's given up most of a day trading now. But here's what he'd say about his day trading. I'm often in and out in five minutes or less, never more than a couple of hours. One of the huge advantages we have of, of scalping in day trading, our stop losses are smaller. We're in and out. If the market stalls, I'm out of there. Okay, um, I, I want simply to be in and out. For me, that suits my personality. May not suit everyone, but it makes it, removes the stress of it. You know, smaller profit targets lead to quicker target hits. Interesting what he says here. Most, most books on trading say you've got to be right three or four out of 10 to cut your losses quickly. I cut my losses quickly, take my winners. I need to be right seven or eight times out of 10. And this is where most books have got it wrong. And unless you may be a swing trader, and look, if you're a swing trader, yes, but if you're a day trader, as you're about to see traders, when we go to the charts, there are areas that we bounce off every day, time and time again. And if you get an entry signal into some of these support and resistance zones, you're gonna be knocked out. You'll be stopped out. We see these every day day consistently. And so I'll show you what those are. So at times, and that's where it comes to risk reward, they say, oh, you've got to go for a one to two, risk, risk say $100 and have two or $300 gain. But yes, it's just not true because you might have a pivot directly in front of me. Down here, he talks about his, his 10 EMA. I love the five and the eight, which I'll show you. And last of all, oops, that's it. I normally got another slide in coaching that I show, but here, he prefers a, a, a 10 period. That is um, red light, green light. If he's above the 10, he's looking for longs, he's below. Now that's a very simplistic way. There's a bit more than um, what we want to do there. So why do the strategies work so well? Now, I've got lots of trend trading strategies, but I've mentioned to you the only two initially you want to follow is the 34B and the 2B. Okay, 34B and 2B. If at a later stage, and you'll see all of these are related, by the way, they quite often set up close to another, etc. But your PMs, that's a pivot magnet trade, all right, kicks butt every single day if you're in a trendy market. So forget trading pivot magnets if you're not in a trending, but you start with these. Now, your 34B and your 2Bs, they're what we call trend continuation strategies. So what we're doing is trading in harmony with the trend on multiple timeframes. Now, I meant to say at the start of today's webinar, when we get to the charts, don't look for reasons why the setups don't work. Look at the reasons why they do work. We live in this society today, can't, can't be real, can't work. And you know what? The, the mind's like a parachute. A parachute only works if it's open, okay? And so many traders, it's, they've got, it's called a scotoma. They don't want to look past in their mind. You know, they, they can't see why it works so well. So the issue is you're going to see soon. It's not whether they work where well, you follow the rules. An actual fact, it was um, Richard Dennis. Richard Dennis, you may have, uh, he was also coincidentally in the book, uh, Market Wizards. He used to um, have a group called the Turtles. You may have heard of them back in the 80s. They were quite famous, where he hired 21, I think it was, 21 or 23 traders to uh, trade his money. 
his partner said it can't be done. And he hired these turtles, he called them. The reason he called them turtles, he was over in Asia and he saw they'd raise turtles in farms and have them grow. And he thought, oh, that's what I'm just gonna call this group of traders. And um, he was asked by the media, um, aren't you worried about giving out the rules to your strategies and you know all these traders, I'll go and take them. He said, do you know what? I could probably publish on the front of the newspapers, the rules to my strategies. No one would follow them anyway. So as you're about to see, it's not whether the strategies work, it's whether you follow the simple rules. So simplistic way, this is what we're looking at doing. I have three charts up. Now you can do it with two, and if you're a new trader, you start with two, where the dark blue line is the higher time frame. I'm simply looking for retracements, pullbacks on my entry chart, and I want to trade in the direction of the higher time frame. When we get to these points here, we get divergence. For an example, we've got it right now on the 6E, and have we got that there on the, on the so on the 6, right now we've, we've got it also on the uh, yen right now. So what we've got is major divergence. Well, it's not, I don't know if it's major, but it's looking, I haven't checked all the charts, but we've got divergence here on two markets, okay? So that's where we get the reversals. But initially, and probably always, you just wanna trade with these trends, okay? Now, the two I pretty much mentioned really, and I, this is a repeat of this here, is really the two and really the two and three B, you'll see what that is, and a 34 B. Now, very quickly, um, just a couple of slides that have been sent in from members here. Um, I now swear by the pivots. Now this is on pivot magnet trades, but forget about trading the pivot magnets to begin with. You've still got to know where pivots are because we bounce off them time and time again. Another member, you're right about pivot magnets, kick, kick, um, kicking some serious butt. Now these are trend following strategies, but the point is, we bounced off the pivots into a different direction. 34B, one of our members, this is going back seven, eight years ago now, 82% uh, right. He, uh, and this is Dave from Seattle, a long-term trader of mine. Uh, he trades his 34s and his 2Bs, and that's all he does, his 34Bs and 2Bs. And Dave, I know you'll probably see this, I can see on Facebook, you're still traveling. <laughs> Keep the photos coming in. Dave's doing an extensive tour through the US at the moment. He's from Seattle. Yeah. Now here, this is another one here, um, trading the ES, all right, 34 Bs. Only 34 Bs, he's up 75 ticks. I'm just gonna go through this quickly. We're about to get to the charts here. Uh, 21 Bs, 34 Bs, 34 Bs, that's a 2B by the way. Um, and that there is what we call a bet the farm. Now, when I talk about bet the farm traders, uh, I don't know if we'll see any in that while we're looking at the charts in a moment, uh, it's tongue in cheek. We still never ever risk any more than 2%, but it's a very high probability uh, trade. So these are live trades that members have sent in. And uh, see the little comment down there, four by six, yes I can. We've got this mantra, five by five, yes I can. Three by eight, yes I can. That's on oil, we've got it for different markets. Because if you're trading 34 Bs on oil, five by five, they deliver five tick trades 80% of the time. If you're trading the two Bs, they're your three by eights, your deeper pullbacks, your larger moves. Now, in my program, and I'm not gonna spend much time on this at all, I personally love divergence. I'm very good at it, but I've been doing it a long time. Okay, so for some traders, they love divergence. And I've discovered some things there which really increases the probability. However, if you're a new trader, or if trading hasn't been kind to you, uh, it's probably because maybe you've introduced divergence trading. Remove it now, okay? There are certain things that we look for where it works, like see there, that's a pivot magnet trade. It's also a 2D. An actual fact, see this over here. 
I want you to note this. We're bouncing off for 200 EMA here. This happens every day. When you've got a pivot bounce, a bounce off a major EMA, it dramatically increases the probability of a trade. You could sit back and just wait for those here and you get them every day. Patterns repeat themselves every day. So we had a beautiful divergence trade there and there, but that was a loaded trade because we were bouncing. Here's another one here. Oh, look, another one again where it's loaded. Now also see those black horizontal lines? These are pivots again. See how we bounced off the pivot, see how we bounced off the pivot. When you sell into a pivot, remember I mentioned a pivot magnet trade, that's when you're trading with the trend into a pivot. But you can see how we then bounce. So I traded that there, traded that there, and I traded the trend back into the pivot. Now there, I front run by one tick. What that means is on oil, I'm normally after eight ticks in a trade, but if I want to front run, or, or exit before I think everyone else is getting out, I'll adjust my target. But it's a point, oh, the black lines. With oil, uh, there are certain levels which we spin on every day and very few people know about them, okay? There are certain uh, turning points on oil which we get every day. And, and by the way, on divergence, the best of the best divergence trade you'll ever have is when you've got a pivot bounce, okay? So if you get a bounce off a pivot or a round number or, or even off your higher time frames, they are the best of the best. All right, we're nearly there. Trust me, we're nearly there. So why scalping and day trading work so well? Smaller profit targets lead to the quicker target hits. Now for me, it's about in and out, in and out. I'm quite happy to pay the commissions. Okay, um, I'm not so worried about the market tops or bottoms. I will, however, be concerned about major divergence. And I'll explain that as we get to the live charts in a moment. Because you don't want to jump in front of a steaming train, meaning if you're with the trend and it's flying. But on the other hand, you don't want to jump in front of major divergence. So in fact, there's a couple of things that you must learn. Okay, so, and this, I'm not going to go through each of these, but the best strategies, of course, the indicators, the best charts, which we'll quickly cover in a sec, um, the best entry chart and anchor chart timeframes is a, is a, I've come up with a formula over the years that just works beautifully and it's so easy, just a mathematical formula. Calculate will tell you, you can do it even in your head, of what entry chart you should have and your anchor charts but you've got to understand pivots and prior days high and lows, and you'll see why in a moment, and support resistance areas, major EMAs. You'll see that also, hopefully. Uh, where to exit, where to, um, where to enter a trade, where to exit, where to place your stops. But these are sort of the key things that you need to understand um, as a trader. If you don't have those down pat traders, you're going to struggle. Okay, but it's not rocket science, it's rules. They're very easy to learn. Now also I'll pull this up in a, just now and show you this and we'll cover this maybe again. So we're gonna be looking at the 6E, okay, because of this announcement on the Aussie. So the 6E typically I'm after six to seven ticks, okay? Now remember earlier I said to you, we wanna go for a minimum of $100. So the question for you is to be asking, how do I achieve six plus tick trades a day? The two Bs and the T20-1s, which I won't go into today, but the two Bs. How do you then achieve 10 tick moves? The larger moves, you only need three or four of those a day and you're doing brilliantly the deeper pullbacks. And hopefully I'll be able to show you those as well. So we might have to come back to those in a moment. So I wanna get through a couple of these. Uh, look, I'm even gonna skip over this one, okay? Oh, just one thing there, and even um, uh, the pit bull, Marty Swartz says this, time is not on our side as scalpers. 
where momentum traders, you've probably heard in real estate, they say it's location, like, oh, there it is there, it's even down here. Location, location, location. In day trading, it's momentum, momentum, momentum. We wanna see the market moving. Now, what type of charts? You will see traders that I'm about to show you Renko charts. You can do what I'm about to show you on any type of chart. My preference is range, uh, sorry, is Renko and tick. I love range on Forex. When I was trading Forex full time, uh, going back in the 90s and 2000s, I would use range charts. <clears throat> And the reason being, I was with TradeStation for many, many years, and only in the last year I've moved over to Ninja Trader. And back then, they didn't have Renko, and then they didn't have, when they did bring Renko, they didn't have Renkos with the tails. And that's important for me, as you'll see on our stop losses. So uh, I love tick, uh, volume charts are fantastic, range of great Renko. Um, uh, ha, which is a combination of Hakanashi and Renko, works beautifully. So you can use any any um, type you like, really. Renko, though, is my favorite. So we're about to go to the chart. So here's our consideration. Let me just quickly have some tea. I'll just be one sec. So this is what we need to check, and this is where so many traders go wrong. They don't have their reference sheet printed out in front of them. You've got to be checking regularly, where are the floor pivots, okay? The floor pivots are based on yesterday's open high, low and close. Fortunately, nearly every trading platform calculates this um, on their own. And I just quickly showed you a few trades where we had both pivot magnet trades where we're selling or buying with the trend into a pivot or PBs, which are pivot bounces, okay? So we see these every day, such a simple thing. And, and in fact, pivots are one of the very few leading indicators. Most indicators, um, they, they call them uh, indicators, they only indicate where price may go and they're lagging because they're based upon current price, what's happening now. Pivots are really leading along with the prior days, open, high, low and close, which gives you very, very strong support resistance levels. And virtually every trading platform today um, has got an open, high, low, close indicator there that you can use. Major EMAs, I should put an S after that. So major EMAs, uh, as we will see, or we should see, uh, they will give you major support resistance areas and they're also price magnets, okay? And you'll see that. The other thing there is prior swing highs and lows, that is current swing. So we an hour ago, um, what was the high an hour ago? And so once again, these indicators and nearly all of these are free, okay? You don't have to go and spend the fortune. Um, on these, where they'll plot these levels, as you'll see in a moment, um, uh, on your charts. So last of all, are you a scalper or a day trader or a combination of two? And the reason I bring that up traders is that we're about to go to the charts. And so with deep pullbacks, okay, uh, you're more of a day trader because some of them will take longer to set up, but then, we might get some, some scalping opportunities in the direction of our minor EMAs. Now, some traders that particularly new in their career, they just really wanna trade the two Bs, maybe the 34 Bs, they're after the deeper pullbacks, okay? So I'll cover a, a number of setups as you're about to see now, as we go to the charts, but in the end, it's about finding something that you're comfortable with. Now, what I've got just here, by the way, this is the Aussie dollar. Now, what I would normally have, when I'm coaching, I this is what I normally have, but up above, straight above, because I've got six screen, makes it easy. I've got uh, some of these charts fully expanded above me, okay? So it makes it easy. So what I'd normally do is you say if you've got two screens or more, here you'd have what we call your entry chart, just here. 
And over here, you would have your anchor chart one. So these are different timeframes. We step up, like right now, we've got there, a, and this is, um, so right there, we've actually got, I've put a, an order in here. This is actually a 2B. I'm just gonna quickly, I've jumped in pretty, I'm just seeing if I can get a better fill on this. Now I'm now filled. Now let me just adjust my stop here. Now remember on the Aussie, oops, and I actually shouldn't be taking this trade. Let me just check this because I might have to exit. I forgot when we've got a red flag coming up. Now, let me just show you this. This is handy for you to know. So what's important is you know when your red flags are coming up, okay? And so we've got the monetary policy uh, coming out tonight, so which is this morning my time. So uh, we need to track your red flags. Now on red flags, there are two key sites that I look at. There's Forex Factory and there's O'Connor Day. Forex Factory, um, particularly if you're trading after hours, then you've got O'Connor Day. For an example, tomorrow we have retail size. So these are all market movers big time. But what we've got to look at, we've also got Jerome Powell speaking at two o'clock tomorrow. We don't want to be in the market at that time, right? These are where you get stopped out of the market. And I just went to break even automatically. Now, if we look at this here, let me bring my target down here. And so we're live, sorry everyone, I was explaining, explaining this. Let me turn this off and let me lock in another tick because I got distracted then. Um, so we went live here. That was actually a 2B just there. And I might even perhaps pull that back to, let me just pull it back to, oh no, I got filled there at break even. Right, so there, we we're out there with one tick. Um, let me just explain this. Let's have a look at all three time frames here. So let me expand this one for you. What's the direction of the trend here? Now, the market opened, that is the Globex market opened over here, which is 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. This here is a 200 EMA. Might be a little bit hard for you to tell, but we are in an uptrend, okay? The market is trending up. We actually had a trade just there. We had a trade there, 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 and that one there that I just jumped on. Now, here in this particular case, we're looking at our anchor chart. So we can see also on the highest time frame, we're starting to level out a little. So we need to be more cautious. And remember, this is on the Aussie. So we've got major red flag news coming out shortly. But all of these things here, traders, are very simple rules. Now, I entered here one, two, three, four, five steps. So that each one of these we call steps, irrespective of the time frame. Now that's a $25 move. Where would my stop be? One tick below, okay? Now ideally, so you may have noticed my matrix automatically put me at break even at plus five. So ideally on the Aussie, I'm after six ticks. Okay, I'm after usually six ticks, which is $30 as a minimum if I'm not going to trail. And forget those indicators there, not relevant. Um, so that is your classic 2B. Now remember earlier, I mentioned to you, and let me pull it up again, because this is very, remember the prior EMAs. This alone information, will be worth thousands of dollars to you and no one, I can't remember ever reading about it, uh, all my years. But I want you to notice here that on the major EMAs, how I get certain bounces on major EMAs. Now, this alone can make you very wealthy because look at this here, see how we're bouncing here, see how we're bouncing here. There are a little technique I use for entering these. Now look at this here. Now, you may look at that and say, well, Ray, we shot past the 200 EMA there. Yes, we did. But let's have a look at 
the anchor chart too. And look at that there. I'm bouncing off a pivot. Let me show you this. See that blue line? That's a pivot. <clears throat> and I'm bouncing off one of my major EMAs just there. See that there? And we're getting one right now. So right now, we actually have a 2B there right now. See that there? That was a 2B just then while we were talking. Now, you may be thinking, you know, well, how do you know it was a 2B? Did I have three higher closes? Yes. Am I bouncing off my major EMAs? Yes. It's a 2B. All right. It's a rules-based strategy that that's, that's all you have to trade, if you like, the rest of your life. That's all you've got to trade. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that. Um, so that was a 2B. And you know what? That was a break even and the $5 covers your commission. Right. Now there's a really nice move. So one of the things we want to consider then, all right, scalping's great. And that was good for one, two, three, four, fives. And let, actually, let me explain that just to you and what happened just there. Let me expand the charts. Remember that slide there? Where's our prior swing highs and lows? Remember that? So remember these four things. Pivots, open high, low and close, major EMAs and swing highs. So let's go back to this. These black lines, these are all swing highs and lows. Now, they're set on prior moves. So you can see they come off prior swing highs. I used to do these all man, and it's so easy to just drop a horizontal line in. So if you can't find an indicator that will do this, you just draw, whenever you get a, a swing high, swing high, swing low, you just drop a little line in because they're what we call magnets. See here, we pat a, see how we come up, we hit that one. Here, I didn't, I was expecting to, but here, finally we did, but look, we see that black line, that was one from earlier, way over here. So these are support resistance levels. So what it means to us, and right there, we've got, whoops, uh, let me just drag, actually I'll cancel that because I just on the news. Uh, no, look, I will take it. I will take it. Sorry, I'm just, uh, what I'd be normally doing is spending more time just analyzing this. So let me adjust my stop. Now, so I've entered this trade just here, traders. Uh, here and my stop loss is one tick below. So when I enter a trade, the things we always want to know is what's in front of me. And I call it, we're looking for blue skies. Now what's in front of me here, and I've got a few minutes, I think, I think it's half at, on, at half past another 20 minutes. We've got our red flag news, <clears throat> excuse me is what is in front of me is that swing high and we've got major resistance back here further. So I'll leave my target where it is. This is a 2B, this is a 2B. Now, we could get stopped out on this. It could come back and stop me out. That is trading. Now, what I do need to check is do I have divergence? Let me expand this, I'll keep this trade open. I'm going to try to explain a hundred things here to you. Now see that point just there. Remember earlier I spoke to you, we've got to be very cautious of swing highs and lows. See we've got, or, or divergent, major divergence. See we've got a higher high just there. See we've got a lower high. That's what we call a 1D at this stage. That's called one divergence. Let's have a look on our anchor chart too no divergence to really talk about. So all I've really got, and I've got divergence there on my entry chart. So this is what I call, but it's not great because it's such big picture. So we call this a 2BD. Don't get caught up with the terms too much. All a 2BD means is it's a 2B, I'm bouncing, on multiple time frames, but it's also after some major divergence on higher time frames. Now, 
where that can make a difference, a 2BD, that is if you have a trend entry after major divergence, uh, these are a lower probability trade. Okay, so these are a lower probability trade. So whenever you've got major divergence on higher time frames, these are not going to give you 85%. They'll still be a 70% trade, but they're not an 85. Now, with this entry, so we are in it, my stop is one tick below. If you were trading for us, it'd be exactly the same. Now, see above me here, I've got this swing high. So what we've got to do now, and I've got a seven tick target. Let me just bring it down to make it six ticks here. See how at the moment we've come up to that high just there. So quite often, and I won't fiddle with this one, but quite often, this is why you've got to know where your prior targets are or swing highs. So here you can see we've come up to that high and we're bouncing off it at this stage. So what you can actually do when we come up to these, you can say get the cash register in and take one contract off or depends on how many contracts you're trading and go to break even on the balance. Now, if you go to break even plus one like I've done here, and here I'm only trading one contract just for demo purposes today. Um, you, if you bring your stop up too much, see where I've only got a couple of ticks down, it can quite often come down, stop us out, and then go on its merry way. So you don't want to pull your stop up too early, too quickly. Because even though we're bouncing here at this swing high right now, we may actually easily break through this. Now at the moment, as the other one was over here, um, this is now a risk-free trade. All right, I'm up one tick. Uh, but one thing I will say is that when you're up one tick, in a fast market, you can still be trying to get one tick, but it stops you out. You don't actually get the one tick. So even though, I'm at break even plus one, uh, does not always mean, like here I got the one tick, doesn't always mean you're going to pick up the profit. But what I wanna show you is this. Remember I, earlier I said, we wanna know what's in front of us. So what we wanna do here, let's expand this. So see all these dotted lines here? These are all prior swing highs that are plotted by a little indicator a free indicator, all right? You don't have to plot them all if you don't want. So now we're out there by the way, break even plus one. But see how we bounced. Now that only delivered one, two, three, four, five. It hit five. Likewise, one, two, three, four, five. Now your commissions on this market are about $4.50 somewhere in that sort of vicinity. So if you're going for five ticks, okay, and which uh, which you can re quite readily do, say if your target is $200 a day per target, for five tick trades, okay, you're after 10 of those a day. So you're after 10 scalps a day, one, two, three, four, to hit 200, why? What's 10 by $25, 250? This is net of course, after any commissions. But what I was about to say about this, you almost certainly would have been filled because of the time. Um, whenever you're doing your back testing traders, what you must do is it look for a tick through your target. Now this is what I mean about going to break even too early. See this here, and now we're now coming up. So this is the very reason why when you're trading multiple contracts, now we would have picked up our six ticks, even seven now. So going to break even um, uh, too quickly, uh, becoming what I call nervous Nelly, this will happen all the time. It comes down, stops you out, then it goes on your merry way. So that's what I mentioned that with your first lot of contracts, so if you're trading six lots, or even 10 lots. 
on your first uh, five, go get out, pick up your four or five ticks. Go to break even, but don't go to break even plus one because you'll see that quite often it'll come down because so many traders go to break even plus one. So go to break even. If it gets stops out, you get stopped out. You've covered your commissions anyway with the first lot. But then if it takes off, then you've picked up your target with the second lot. Now, something very, so now we want to look for another setup. Now I've got to go to the, the, the uh, Euro for that because we may get some changes in the market conditions. And for some reason, I should have restarted after this morning's trading, I should have restarted my computer. It's just taking a while. It's thinking. Um, now, going for your larger uh, targets, by the way, that's what I did want to mention, mention for you. Let me just quickly, yep, that's it, okay. How do we pick up the 10 tick moves? So, in other words, say if you, this is the 6E. Now the 6E is um, uh, $6.25 a tick. Okay, it's $6.25 a tick. So if you, we go and look at this here, our spreadsheet again. So at 10 ticks, that's $62. So if you're going for your 200 a day per contract, and remember, you only need $2,000 in your account for this, how are you most likely to pick those up? It's when you get your deep pullbacks and you get your EMA bounces. Now, we actually call this in our trading room, we call this a 200 EMA overshoot. That's your 200, you get these every day. When you have a deep pullback like this, what's happening on your higher time frames? A lot of traders will only look for divergence, fatal mistake here, or big mistake profit wise on this. So see how we've pulled back here. See on the middle chart, we've pulled back here. Let me show you this here on this one. Uh, global. Let me just go back, where were we? That was just here. here. Look over on your anchor chart too. Can you see just there what we are bouncing off? See how we're bouncing off one of our major EMAs there? These EMA bounces, we call them T12s, lead to 10, eight to 10 tick moves every day of the week. Think about the logic behind these trades. And for an example here, we could have been bouncing off for 200. This is a slight overshoot. The logic behind these is quite simple. Here we've got market overall is still in an uptrend. This is our intermediate time frame. We come back, we get a bounce, even though we're starting to turn, and I'll explain this here in a moment to you, what we look at, uh, that on the our entry chart, they lead to great moves. Now, wh what's our entry signal, by the way? What we're waiting for whenever we have a deep pullback, all we're waiting for is on our anchor chart one, that's what we call this, for the first candle to close. See the white paint bar? That's called my super scalper. See the uh, green dot? That's an EMA crossover. Here's another one. We've got two different conditions that we're looking for for our EMA crossovers. And therefore our scalpers particularly, by the way, Remember I mentioned about scalping to you before, um, how I love scalping. Now, when are we most likely to have successful scalping opportunities? See the orange here, we call that the cloud, right? But what I want you to notice here is my five EMA in a downtrend is black, it's blue in an uptrend. And I'll tell you what the green one is, it's a 13. When you've got the 513 with the support of your anchor chart supporting the downtrend, it kicks butt for scalpers. You see, when I enter some of these deeper pullbacks, my stop loss is six ticks. When I'm scalping, it's only four ticks because we're in much earlier. But what we want to do to increase the probability of jumping in on these, we call these, by the way, a rule of one. 
when we jump on those, we're jumping in. The rule of one means the first candle that closes back in the direction of the five EMA after a pullback. Can you see that little, it's hard for you to see, that's called a tail, a Renko tail. You can scalp those as well. There's a couple of entries here. This is where we scalp, okay? Now let's just quickly check out. Now, this here is what we call a 21 EMA bounce, just here. Let's talk about the, the best of the best trading. And what we've actually got right now is this is what we call the sweet spot. See how your entry chart is trending up. See how your anchor chart one is an uptrend and see how your anchor chart two is an uptrend. We're looking to take, if you're scalping virtually every pullback and trade that closes back in the direction of the trend on these two timeframes. This is how we scalp. Very small um, stops, but you can get some, particularly when you get your 21Bs, some great moves. Now, what you've got to be aware of right now is, we're now at the midline pivot at level three. So um, this is called um, the R3. Now we've got to start being cautious with our trades. Why? We're gaining more and more divergence on our anchor charts. See that there? That's divergence. That's divergence. We're still moving, but you've got to be more cautious. So what you can do there, if you're trading multiple lots, rather than say trading 10 lots to go along here, only trade two. Take a more conservative view. Because when you look at this pattern and this trade is, is a pattern, usually this will mean or lead to a market reversal, at least in the short term. Now, because we're going to go back to the PowerPoint in a moment, we'll see if we come back. We get the reversal here. I want you to remember here my 89 EMA. Because when we have this type of reversal, provided we get back through the pivot, that blue line there, that's one of your pivots. Uh, that was a pivot magnet trade. Remember I talk, spoke to you how good pivot magnet trades are. What was once resistance can quite often then become support. I don't think so. I think we're going to find we're going to have a, quite a drop away. But where do we target when we have these divergence trades? I won't go into the rules why, but the 89 EMA. It can always continue. However, we'll come back to this. And we'll see shortly whether or not we pull back to the 89. So very quickly, I spoke to you earlier traders about um, uh, how you can join my live trading uh, for a dollar ten an hour. Let me explain. Um, basically, uh, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. This is not about my one-on-one, -on -one, and I only do, do one to two new clients a month because each one of my coaching clients is 16 hours. Okay, so we do eight two-hour sessions and I charge $7,000 for that. And before you go, geez, that's expensive. Have you been to a good accountant or a good solicitor um, or, or attorney? They charge far, what, far more and I'm going to set you up financially, potentially for life. But my problem is, is only me. I can only um, deal with one or two new clients each month. That's all I can do. I don't have enough hours in a day because I run all of my sessions myself. So there's another option. Option two is you can attend my coaching. So each week, uh, every Tuesday and Wednesday evening, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I run two hour coaching sessions where we we'll review trades of a day. We go through all of my setups, etc., And I'll show you what's all the PowerPoints and everything you get in a moment. And I also run three times a week and all of these are recorded a two hour live trading room where you'll get to see me explain, I'll explain the setups in real time and I'll take trades and you ask questions, etc. cetera. So um, uh, with those, I don't ask for testimonials, all right? Uh, with those, love it 200 a day, it's, it's that. Now, when I say, he say, he's saying it's that simple. I'm not saying it's simple. And in fact, traders, learning the strategies, it's actually quite easy. So 
if it's easy, why isn't everyone making the money? It's because the easy things are also easy not to do. You've got to follow the rules and sometimes uh, boredom kicks in and other things kick in. Um, Ray, um, uh, six winners, one loss. Look, I've just got hundreds of these. Uh, Jan, who's still in all of my classes after years now, um, uh, full-time trading. Amanda, you know, just as you see, the information provided is incredible. Um, back here though, the big thing is here, is the bottom line. Right, so uh, trading, look at this, two Bs, 34 Bs and the slingshots. Uh, Ali here, now Ali loves the um, uh, the T28s, which is the pivot magnet trades. He actually, I just have always called them pivot magnet trades because the pivots act like magnets. He said, Ray, we should call it the T28. He's actually prepared a PowerPoint, which I provide all my members now. Last five days, and this is only from a few weeks ago, 90% win rate. He's actually in my New York trading room. Uh, thanks very much, Ray. Look, there's just, I can just, I've got hundreds of them, okay? So, how can you join and get hold of all of this for $1.10 an hour? Now, first of all, there are three components. And this is a $10,000 program. And I don't care, look, traders, I can show you the 2B. If you follow my rules, you're set for life. If you follow the rules, you know, build your capital, you are set for life. But you've got to follow the rules. What's it worth? Thousands to you. But so what I can do is save you many years. So first of all, the three components of my program here I'm showing you today is the Day Traders Fast Track program. And if you go to my website, you'll see I sell that off the website for $197. Now that's got um, all of my PowerPoints um, where I've got, there's literally hundreds of training videos there. You don't have to watch them all. Remember, I, you'll learn which ones to focus on. I've even hired a hypnotherapist there uh, to record hypnotherapy trading sessions because traders, 90% of trading is the psychology of trading. It really is. So uh, I teach NLP techniques. You know, there's just webinar after webinar. There's handouts, I mentioned there's, um, uh, you can down, download the trading affirmations, the hypnotherapy sessions, etc. I mentioned there's dozens of videos. No, you don't have to watch them all. And they're all labeled so you can focus on the setup that you're working on. There are dozens of custom marked up charts. On my Google Drive, uh, traders, um, the, my Google Drive is, is here. Like say if you trade with NT8, okay, there are all of the indicators, templates, videos are included. Uh, if you're into neuro-linguistics, uh, if you're into, if, you know, look, you can just click in um, Mastering Your Mind, that's a webinar I ran with NLP, there's dozens of handouts. I think you get the general picture traders, okay. Very, very comprehensive. Uh, handouts are PowerPoints, there's over 36 PowerPoints, okay? Um, and let me give you and talk about, once again, overwhelm. You, don't, you only focus on the PowerPoints and the training sessions initially that I cover with you. What are they? The two Bs and the 34 Bs. There's reference sheets. There's just a ton of material. I think you get the general idea. There's the spreadsheets. There's how all of these are included. All right, now, that's great, but that's like reading a book. And it's a little bit like learning how to play the piano uh, just by reading a book. It's not gonna cut the mustard. To become a student of the markets or a winning traders will do the things that losing traders won't do. You've gotta become the, a student of the market. And you do that through my private good group coaching sessions. So I typically have 200 traders in these sessions. You can type in questions where I'm going through all those PowerPoints that you just saw. I go through all of those one, uh, one at a time, over a period of time. I explain the setups in great detail. I talk about the psychology of trading, goal setting, setting up your trading plan. And then we spend 
a lot of time on the charts. It, the sessions, as I mentioned, two hours. One hour is usually on revision, uh, an hour then on the charts. And we cover a huge amount of information in those sessions. In fact, uh, tomorrow, <clears throat> we are in May. So I've been doing these for years, by the way. So uh, tomorrow we're in May and we're in session five. Doesn't matter where you join, by the way. And in here, I upload the, the link to the, the uh, recording three hours after this session finishes. So if you miss a session or the uh, it doesn't suit your time frame, you can watch a recording. But in session five tomorrow, uh, these are the handouts. We don't go through them all. I put all sorts of stuff in there for you. Um, like tomorrow, we're covering trading divergence. But here we also go through um, uh, psychology, uh, measured moves. So what is a measured move? I've got a PowerPoint there and handouts on measured moves. Uh, Paul McKenna, the hypnotherapist, not the one I use, but another one just by coincidence. Um, uh, all about getting your head right. So this is the sort of material we cover in those sessions. And I won't go through everything. But there we then have the third part, which is the live trading room. And that is where the rubber meets the road. That's where you get to watch, listen and learn as I explain our strategies as they set up in real time. The whole concept with the live trading room is to teach you how to trade live. If you can't attend the live sessions, you can play, play back the replays, okay? Watch, listen and learn. Now, even though usually it's on the futures markets, if you trade Forex, you apply the exact same rules to trading Forex or stocks. There is no difference. I explain where to enter, where to place your stop and where to exit the trade. Some feedback, uh, 13 wins, two losses, 86%. Ah, every trade, either a 2B, or a 2BD. I think you just saw me take was well, a couple of two. Oh, one was a 2B. That's right. I got out early on those, but a couple of winning trades straight off the bat. But note, by the way, they're trading with the trend. Um, short. Um, thanks for everything. Nice little profit. 234Bs. Four wins. Uh, uh, as April says here, I don't charge enough for my sessions. So there are three components. So really, it's all about there. And I run those sessions, by the way. Um, I should give you the times. So three mornings a week. Typically, it's 5 a.m. Eastern Standard to 7 a.m. Actually, one week on, it's uh, 4 a.m. to 6. The alternative week, it's then uh, from 5 to 7. I do have a New York room that I run in the afternoon, but that's only limited to 15 traders. Uh, and that's a slightly different program because I do one-on-one -on -one coaching with those members. So it's a slightly different one. So anyway, so on this package here, my day traders fast track program is $197. My private um, group coaching, this is all on the website, <clears throat> is $97 a month. That's $582. And my live trading room is $197 a month. So in total, ops, uh, and I've mentioned the live trading room. So that's six months of live trading room, the day traders fast track program, which I own, uh, own forever, and the coaching program. Now, you can join all of that for $497, saving you over $3,100 on my website. But on top of that, I'll give you an additional six months. So in other words, for, for $497, you get, how many sessions is that? That's 96 live recorded coaching sessions. Uh, and I can't even see how many of it. It must be, I think it's 144 live trading room sessions for $497. Now that's $210. Sorry, let me take that. I wish it was $210. That's $2.10 for each live and recorded session. So for 12 months, you get stuck with me. 
you know, I we joke with the members all the time, aren't you sick of my voice? And um, it just comes back, can't get enough of it. So I'm basically coaching you and I'm teaching you how to trade live in my live room. Now, what if you're already a member? I've got over 10,000 members. Great news is if you already own the Day Traders Fast Track program, you can save another $100. So it's only $397 for 12 months. Uh, so no doubt if you're a past member, you've been in the live trading room or the coaching room. So for $397, you get across the year 96 two-hour sessions and 144 two-hour sessions. That's um uh, that's over, it's only a dollar sixty-six for each two-hour session. That's saving you off the website prices $3,200. So, how do you join? Well, in the go to webinar, uh, I'll also email this out today, but in the go to webinar box there, I've uploaded this. It's under handouts. So you can um, up, you can actually, well, not upload, you can download this where it tells you what you get for 12 months. Because you click that to join, $4.97 if you're not a member. If you're currently a member, there's a link down there for 397 to join. So rather than 197, basically you're only, you're getting my program, the Day Traders Fast Track program, for only uh, not, basically $100. Traders, this is the last program you will ever need to invest in. Okay, um, the handouts that you get, no matter which market you're trading, the micros, etc. All my indicators are included. There's nothing else to buy unless one day turn around and say, look, I want to either join or get one-on-one -on -one coaching for you. And I really promote that because as I said, I only get only get to do one or two of those a month. Bottom line is because I just don't have enough hours in a day. So uh, download uh, the document, or if you're watching this on YouTube, if you go to the link below, the information link below, you'll find the links below there for you to um, come and join. Now, let's just see how this trade is going or potential reversal. We've barely moved. See this here, how we're barely moving. And I suspect it's because of the Aussie announcement. The Euro, by the way, and let's just talk very quickly about closely correlated markets, you've got to be very careful with the currency futures like the 6E and the 6A, the Aussie and the Euro are usually quite closely correlated with their moves. So you just got to watch them. Actually, the, the 6A is sort of moving, the Aussie is moving quite nicely. Now, see that right there? Is that a 2B? There was a 2B just there. That was a 2B. So let's just, let me just show you, remember that one there? That is a 2B. This, what time was that? That was at 9.21. That was a 2B, all winners. Your 2Bs, uh, that was a 2B, that was a 2B, that was a 2B, that was a 2B, that was a 2B. Virtual, and, and when I say virtually 100% mechanical, the, the mechanical in the rules, the, the only thing you got to make sure is you've got a trend, okay? And there are certain qualifying things we do look for on our anchor charts, okay? For an example, uh, that there, that's only a 13B or a 21B. They're nowhere near as high probability as your 2Bs. Your 2Bs are the real high probability setups. So traders, come and join me. Join. Um, I'll go to the download link, download the join now. And um, uh, traders, if you want to trade futures, Forex or stocks, you want all your indicators included, uh, plus ongoing coaching for a year and basically every resource you could ever hope for, this is it. So thank you traders and um, I'll see you hopefully in classes very soon. Thanks very much. Oh, and, oh, sorry, a couple of questions there. My apologies, I nearly jumped off. Uh, the, the paint bars, I get asked this every webinar, uh, they plot on an uptick past a second. I call it my super scalper. So if you're a scalper, great little way of scalping. Uh, yes, this indicator is the MAC 
the, uh, the, the stochastic grids included. And you can set that up slightly differently on any trading platform. This is a two smooth, it's only got one hook, but usually with your standard stochastic, you've got two. Uh, just the best charting platform. Um, look, you've got TradeStation, Need to Trader, Think or Swim. My Forex traders generally will start with um, MT4 because it's free. I'd recommend virtually all traders end up considering NinjaTrader. I don't get one cent from NinjaTrader for that. Um, I don't even have an account manager to refer you to just because it's a, a great um, platform. Uh, and best commission rate. Best commission rates is really TradeStation and NinjaTrader. NinjaTrader is definitely better than TradeStation, but both offer great rates. Uh, okay, so on the Euro and on the Aussie, it's about five, sorry, it's about $4.80, 450, 480 with Ninja Trader. I think it's about 550 with Trade Station. All right, traders, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the session uh, and see you on the other side. Thank you, traders.